Koreans frequently use the phrase did you eat as a greeting more often than saying How are you? Eating is deeply ingrained in Korean identity, extending beyond just food. There is a saying that Koreans get energy from rice. The greeting did you eat rice emerged after the Korean War. Checking whether someone has eaten or not is a way of inquiring about their well-being, considering the historical context of poverty and scarcity. In this context, rice does not simply refer to the literal grain but is more akin to the overall meal. However, Koreans express it as eating rice because a meal without rice is inconceivable for them. We can easily observe a similar example in Korean restaurants, where most side dishes are unlimited, but you have to pay for additional servings of rice. This implies that rice alone can substitute for a complete meal in Korea. Therefore, there are many sayings in Korea related to rice, such as using did you eat rice instead of how are you or saying do you want to eat with me together instead of do you want to go out with me? Even the expression of gratitude is sometimes replaced with I'll buy you rice. Furthermore, when parents scold their children severely, they may say, you dare even think about eating rice today. However, it is rare for parents in Korea not to provide meals for their children, even if their children do not listen to them. Korean parents always make sure their children are fed. If the children truly refuse to eat, it can even lead to a conflict resembling a war. Eating is an ideal vehicle for connecting people beyond mere sustenance for Koreans. If you eat with someone, it can foster an intimate relationship with them. The term sikgu, which means family member in Korean, actually means people eating together. Now, why do Koreans have such a strong affinity for rice? Historical records indicate that Koreans have had a hearty appetite since ancient times. Even neighboring countries such as China and Japan have been astonished by the amount Koreans eat whenever they visit Korea. In particular, people from Okinawa warned Koreans that they would become poor because they eat excessively. There is a story that relates to the conquest of China by Goguryeo, which ruled over the Korean peninsula. Goguryeo people ate four times more than contemporary Koreans. The eating habits of Goryeo and Jojin were also notable, with Goryeo eating three times and Jojin eating three times as much as the contemporary Koreans. Westerners visiting Korea during the late Jojin period were astonished by the Korean habit of eating and even referred to Korea as a big eatery country. French missionary Dave Louis, who visited Korea in 1845, documented the diverse eating habits of Koreans from his perspective, providing an objective account of their hearty appetite. Jojin people are big eaters with gluttonous appetites. This habit started from childhood, where many mothers would fill their children's bellies while holding them on their laps. They would tap on the children's bellies and stop feeding once they were full with rice. Farmers would eat at least three times a day, consuming large bowls of rice around one liter each. They couldn't control their urge to eat. There was no leftover food at home. They would make food instantly once they got hungry. However, it is not entirely accurate to say that they always ate large quantities. It was simply because they had nothing else. Even the king and civil servants would binge drink heavily. When they were drunk, they would often black out and sleep on the ground. However, nobody would pay much attention to it. They would simply let it be. For a long time Koreans had a habit of eating only two main meals a day, breakfast and lunch. However, they would always have another snack or meal in between these two main meals. A typical example of this is when farmers would eat 25 peaches per person as a snack during their farm work breaks. Koreans are remarkable when it comes to cooking rice, as their skill in preparing rice is highly regarded. Jang Ying, a Chinese observer, praised them by writing, Koreans are excellent at cooking rice. Their rice is glossy, soft, fragrant, and flavorful. Given the significance of rice in Korean life, Koreans value rice highly, which is why knocking off ashes into the rice is considered one of the easiest ways to insult a Korean. That is why Koreans often ask, did you eat? rather than how are you?